Radical changes to the FA Cup, which will see replays scrapped from the first round next season. The FA have defended the decision, claiming the magic of the Cup will be protected and enhanced. The Football League see it very differently, calling the changes frustrating and disappointing. Here are the details of the new agreement between the FA and the Premier League, with the headline news that replays have been abolished. All rounds now to be played at weekends, including the fifth round, which has been in midweek for the past five seasons. No Premier League football will be played on FA Cup weekends in the fourth and fifth rounds and the quarterfinals. In another major change, the final's been moved from after the Premier League season to the penultimate Saturday, meaning Premier League games that weekend will move to the Sunday. And as part of the new agreement, the Premier League has increased its funding to the football pyramid, providing up to £133 million per season. The FA Chief Executive Mark Bullingham heralded the change, saying this new agreement between the FA and the Premier League strengthens the FA Cup and gives this very special tournament exclusive weekends in an increasingly busy calendar. The new schedule ensures the magic of the Cup is protected and enhanced whilst working for the whole of the English game. However, former FA chairman David Bernstein disagrees. The FA Cup has been squeezed um, so time after time. It was the greatest club competition in the world, as, as Gail just said, with a fantastic history. But I think it's gradually been devalued. And I think the beauty of the FA Cup is... It brings the pyramid of English football together. It brings large clubs and small clubs. And it, you know, we talk about money a great deal, and understandably, but there is more to life than, than the money. There's the romance and the dream that fans have. And when you have a tie, let's say Blackpool against Manchester United, and Blackpool get a draw at home to Manchester United, and they have the prospects of going to Old Trafford and so on, that is a lifetime experience um, for fans. So... Uh, you know, I think that the squeeze, the further squeezing of this is is very sad. It's very disappointing. One replay is a very important part of the FA Cup, and otherwise it starts to become a devalued competition. It's absolutely fundamental to the base of the pyramid of English football. That's the to me that is the key. And what we're doing is focusing more and more on the on the summit of the pyramid and paying less attention to the very important base because. The glory of English football, I believe, is that widespread and that base across the nation. The EFL have also come out strongly against the changes. Their chief executive, Trevor Birch, said this is frustrating and disappointing given the calendar is a shared asset across football. And as we have consistently said, a whole game approach is required to find solutions to complex fixture scheduling challenges. Our domestic calendar has been put under extreme pressure by the expansion of UEFA competitions. And ultimately, this represents another lost traditional revenue stream for EFL clubs at a time when the financial gaps between the biggest clubs and those further down the pyramid is growing bigger than ever. We will now be discussing the implications for EFL clubs and seeking appropriate compensation arrangements. Clubs are facing rising costs and it's so contradictory of the of the demand and the desire for sustainability in football in the lower leagues. The EFL are working on that and are trying their very best with government. Um, but this is another a financial setback for clubs. You know, for example, a club in our division such as ourselves, it's, it could be seven figures to get a replay. I think that the 20 clubs that have been involved in the decision, um, it, it shows, it perhaps shows who truly is running the sport. Obviously, the Premier League perhaps have more control or the overall control. But, you know, we need, I think the FA standing up for the game and the wider game and the rest of the clubs would be welcomed. I, we're talking about ourselves here in League Two, but there are clubs in the national leagues and below that for them, life-changing moments and, and revenue streams. Ordinarily, lower league clubs are run by volunteers and local sponsors and individuals putting in money to to keep them alive and to keep the community hub that these clubs are. And um, the FA Cup just gives an opportunity financially uh, to lighten the burden and actually create 
great moments, to improve the stadium as a result of it, to, in, to put more money into the youth section of the club, whatever that looks like. So it's a significant loss. A reaction, too, from the Sheffield United manager, Chris Wilder. He's managed throughout the football pyramid. He doesn't agree with the changes to the calendar. As always, the game is dictated and dominated by the big boys, and the big boys don't want FA Cup replays, do they? So there'll be an argument that they're bringing all the money into the game. Um, I've been a traditionalist, you know, what does that do to, 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 to non-league clubs? Uh, I've been at both ends of the scale, but for me, um, you know, it's, it's a great reward for the lower league clubs uh, in, in earning that replay to allow them either to go to the bigger clubs, whether it's a home game or, or have that, that game at home against the bigger clubs as well. So uh, I am a traditionalist and I would have liked to have seen it kept the same.